Welcome to Omega Open Course. In the last video, we discussed constant relations in two block systems with two strings. Let us now look at two block systems with three strings. Let us first change the color of the strings for better identification. Now move the block on the left up by distance x. Since the pulley 1 is connected directly to the block, the pulley will move down by exactly as much as block has moved up. So the pulley moves down by distance x. The pulley has blue strings on both its sides. So if it moves by distance x, x length of blue string is released from both its sides. All this string must be consumed by pulley 2 which is connected at one end of the blue string. Therefore pulley 2 must move down by distance 2x. Pulley 2 has green strings on both its sides. So when it moves by distance 2x, it releases 4x length of green string. This string must be consumed by the block on the right. So the block on the right must move down by distance 4x. Thus, when the block on the left moves up by distance x, the block on the right moves down by distance 4x. Hence, the magnitude of displacement, velocity and acceleration of the block on the right is 4 times the magnitude of displacement, velocity and acceleration of the block on the left. Let us see another example. First, let us change the color of the strings for better identification. Let us now move the block on the right up by distance x. As it is connected directly to pulley 1, it also moves up by distance x. Pulley 1 has green strings on both its sides. So when it moves up by distance x, it frees 2x length of green string. Pulley 2 is connected to one of the ends of green string. So to keep the string tight, it will have to consume all the string released by pulley 1. So pulley 2 will move up by distance 2x. Pulley 2 releases 2x length of yellow string on both its sides. So the total yellow string released by the pulley is 4x which must be consumed by pulley 3. As a result, pulley 3 moves up by distance 4x. This frees 8x length of the string which is consumed by the block on the left. Thus when the block on the right moves up by distance x, the block on the left moves down by distance 8x. Hence, the magnitude of displacement, velocity and acceleration of block B is 8 times the magnitude of displacement, velocity and acceleration of block A. Finally, let us see this example. When the block on the left is moved down by distance x, it consumes x length of red, blue and green strings each. The red string is connected to pulley 1 at the other end. So when the block moves down by distance x, pulley 1 moves up by distance x. The upward movement of the pulley consumes x length of blue strings on both its sides. Apart from that, x length of blue string was consumed when the block had moved down. So the total length of the blue string consumed is 3x, x at the block on the left and 2x at the pulley 1. All this string must be provided by pulley 2. So the pulley 2 moves up by distance 3x. This consumes 3x length of green string on the both sides of the pulley. Besides, x length of green string was consumed by the block. So the total green string consumed is 7x, x at the block and 6x at the pulley 2. All this string must be provided by the block on the right. So the block on the right must move up by distance 7x. Thus, the magnitude of the displacement, velocity and the acceleration of the block on the right is 7 times the magnitude of the displacement, velocity and the acceleration of the block on the left. I hope this video helps you understand constant relation of two block systems with three strings. Similar logic can be extended to systems with more strings. In the next video, we will cover the systems with three blocks. The string constant cannot be learned properly unless you solve a large number of questions on it. Unfortunately, in the books available in the market, the questions of string constant or motion constant are scarce and scattered. 
To resolve this problem, we have prepared a mini book which focuses entirely on string constant and motion constant. This book explains string constant using several illustrated examples. It also explains different methods used to write constant relations like by inspection through concept of approach and separation velocity using conservation of energy and by writing constant equations. It consists of about 200 questions of string constant and motion constant ranging from very preliminary questions to pretty advanced ones along with hints and solutions. No matter at what stage of preparation you are, this book is very helpful. You can buy this book from Amazon. The links are given in the descriptions below. Subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon to get the notification when we upload a new video. Thank you for watching.